My blood pressure was like 178 over 92, but they didn't even mention that. I just happened to notice. They didn't say anything about my blood. I have to go to the ER. <laughs> the doctor was so nice. So here's what happened. So I go in and I go up to the screening station and there's like all people and they're like, I'm screening for COVID. And I was like, Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for Dirk because my kidneys are a pair of Dirks. And what you saw there was uh, clips of Booty Booty's many ER visits previously. If there is an ER visit, I usually cover it. Um, I'm a little bit slow on this one. I do apologize. I think it came out late yesterday anyways it's been more than 24 hours and in the foodie verse that is an eternity so i'm sorry i'm so slow and turtly with this uh but before i do get started you guys know the drill pour some iv fluids on that like button maybe if you're new uh hit the subscribe button appreciate it and comment down below love hearing your opinions and thoughts on all of this um yeah so booty booty another er visit this time she's saying is because of the Norovirus. We'll get into all of that. Um, some people were saying that she went to the ER in the States because she did go to uh, the States in this video. Um, Foodie Booty is not stupid enough to do that. She would know the cost would be like astronomical, but she's also not smart enough to get health insurance. Um, travel insurance. I know even if I just put one teeny tiny toe across a border, I am insured just in case something happens. You never know what's going to happen, but um, I do believe she went to an ER in Ontario. Uh, so let's see what uh, she had to say about uh, her ER visit and well, actually, she actually filmed inside the ER. Sometimes we get the aftermath. So let's go. Let's hear what she has to say. Unfortunately, things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worse, health-wise. Hello. So, as you can see, I'm in the ER beezing. Um, I have norovirus or the, um, the bad stomach flu, the highly contagious one. Okay, so she's saying she has norovirus, which is a very contagious um, virus that causes stomach cramping, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, now, here in Canada, you can get tested for it. Um, normally, doctors just go after, like, go by the symptoms, and usually it's not reported. Uh, to public health unless it's an outbreak situation like in a nursing home, hospital, school, etc. Um, so I'm guessing she wasn't like officially tested for it, but it's probably, you know, doctors see it this time of year, it's going around, they know there's outbreaks and they go by her symptoms. I don't know where I got it. I hope I never get it again. It is the worst illness i swear it's it's disgusting the worst thing oh foodie 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 you little cutie you have no idea what is coming for you this will seem like a cakewalk um and maybe i'm being a little sadist here fine but this is <laughs> This is nothing of what she's going to endure in her future if she just keeps going the way she's going. Um, now, I have had a similar virus. I don't know if it's norovirus. Yeah, not fun. Extreme cramping. Um, I was sitting on the toilet and throwing up in my pants at one point. Um, was not hospitalized. I was able to at least get my fluids in. Um, but, girl... This is nothing. So, eh, brace yourself, I guess. So, I became severely dehydrated. And so, I, I got sick about, I don't know, maybe three days ago. I don't remember exactly when. A few days ago. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to throw up. TMI, by the way. And then 
the other other end diarrhea severe diarrhea so vomiting diarrhea muscle weakness just um, fatigue my sodium and um, the chloride I don't know my electrolytes were bad so she's talking about her electrolytes, which would be out of whack if you're dehydrated, your sodium, your potassium, your magnesium, all of that. And what they try to do is give you fluids to replenish all those electrolytes. However, probably she is more at risk of that happening because of her out of control blood sugar and all the extra work her kidneys are doing. Um, because all that extra sugar is go has to go somewhere and it goes to the urine. Um, and with it, your body takes fluids. So you get dehydrated more quickly. That's why she's always thirsty. So I think that definitely played a role in the whole dehydration thing going on she has with the, the norovirus. So I also think it's safe to say if she actually controlled her diabetes, she might not have ended up in the ER. Oh no, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. The blood pressure cuff. Let's see what my blood pressure is. Ah, uh, really? Complaining about the blood pressure cuff? <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I get my blood pressure taken about eight times in a three and a half hour period during dialysis. That's the least of my complaints. But anyways, 109 over 69. Uh, we know that's not typical of her blood pressure. We've seen it a lot higher. And when you're dehydrated, your blood pressure will drop. Uh, pulse 82, I guess pulse oxygen is 95. Um, also the blood pressure cuff was on her wrist. The further away from the heart, the lower the reading. <sighs> My blood sugar's through the roof, even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick and if you have like a virus or infection, you know? Anyway. Totally true. When um, you're diabetic, type one, type two, your body releases hormones just to help fight the virus and that raises your, your glucose levels. That's why it's so important to have your baseline glucose levels, know what they are, as well as what they are when you're sick. It could also help you track, you know, if you're really, you're not sure if you're sick, but your blood sugars are up, might be another sign for you. Um, but she doesn't monitor anything, so <laughs> why does it matter? Um, and then her fluids, looks like she just got fluids. I don't see like any other bags. I've been drinking, I picked up some Gatorade, but it's like, it's like a healthy Gatorade because when I'm ill, Gatorade is like real Gatorade is too artificial for me. And that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick. <laughs> so it's actually only got like, I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know, and it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like, um, salt, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. Oh, cue up everyone's least favorite foodie booty, which is health guru, Booty Beauty, I know we could all have a good laugh, laugh at this because all of her natural ingredients and all that stuff that she talks about. Um, she'll be back to double fisting corn dogs in like a few days, probably, if not less than that. There's still a few that are a little iffy, but it's for the most part, they're very, uh, they're a lot more natural, let's just say. So I was just charged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today I'm feeling a lot better. I think the hydration really helped. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving like pickle juice, which also is apparently good for like electrolyte replenishment, uh, because of the high sodium content. It's funny that she craves pickle juice. I did a video way back. If you followed me for ages, you have, would have seen it. And yeah, pickle juice is great if you're losing a lot of fluid quickly um, it, to help stop cramps. Because on dialysis, we remove like two liters of fluid within four hours. Um, but it's funny she's craving it. It makes me think that maybe she is losing fluid 
rapidly because um, all the glucose is going through her kidneys and pulling out excess fluid with it. I'm, I'm just making an observation and saying that's why. Um, but she should also probably watch all that intake of sodium at once. Who knows? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> But these are my observations of, uh, yeah, Foodie Beauty's most recent ER trip. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Um, we'll see what the coming weeks bring us. She says she's going back to Kuwait. She still has some appointments here in Canada. Now, she was supposed to see a therapist um, April 18th, I believe it was. Who knows if she's sticking around for that? Who knows if she's sticking around to finally find a family health provider here, family health care doctor. I don't know. Um, yeah. Thanks guys. Bye.